Hey guys, welcome back to part 5 of my Unity Ragdoll series. In today's video, I will be showing you how to control your animations using the WASD keys. Before we start, I want to thank you all for all the support and kind comments. So yeah, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And let's get started. So there are a few things that I want to do before I show you how to control your ragdoll. Um, I mean, control the animations for your ragdoll. And so let's do that first. And these things will help improve our animations and mention a few errors that might happen. So one of the error that might happen, it's not really an error, but like, so sometimes whenever you go to your target ragdoll and select a rotation point or a limb and you're trying to rotate it but because you're making an animation, you'll realize that whenever you select let's say upper arm left the rotation is at the center so whenever you're trying to animate it it, de it disconnects the reason why this is happening is because if you go to the top left and to your toolbar as you can see right here it says center if you click on it it will change it to the pivot point so now all rotations are gonna be on the parent or the pivot point so now you can animate your ragdoll correctly so yeah that's one thing make sure you have on pivot another thing is that I want to go to my uh, actual ragdoll and select all of the non rotating limbs if you don't want to if you don't know what I mean by a non rotating limb you may want to check out my previous videos for this series because I will be, I also will be adding code to our previous code in this video. So you have to uh, check out my other videos to know what's going on. So now that I've selected all my non-rotating limbs, I want to set the angular motion to locked. The reason why I'm doing this is because if by accident I change the target rotation for these limbs, I don't want them to move to that target rotation in any scenario. So let me put that back to zero. All right. The last thing is to, I mean, the second last thing is to add some mass to my hips. And the reason why I want to do this is because I want, um, the overall weight to be heavier so that when we animate our ragdoll or add some more animations they're more realistic this will also give it a lower center center of gravity so yeah i need that so that will basically make our model more realistic the last thing is okay so the last thing i want to cover is that in our, in my last video, I had an issue where uh, whenever I clicked play and walked forward, you can see that my torso is shaking a lot when walking and it's not really matching the target ragdoll correctly. This is not very appealing, so let's fix that. The reason why this is happening is because our lower arms and our hands have mass. And when they have mass, that means they're going to be putting force on the torso because they're connected to that. So what we can do is we can just reduce the mass on the lower arm and right hands. So select your lower arms and your hands and just drag the mass all the way down. And now it's a very, very small number. Or you could do whatever number you want depends on what you're trying to make so now you can see that the torso isn't shaking as much and it's a lot more appealing and better so yeah now we can f finally start working on controlling our animations using W and S keys that means whenever you're standing still it should play an idle animation and whenever you're walking around then it should start playing some other animation. 
so let's i'm gonna first show you my new animations so i have it in my assets in my animations folder i've got some more animations for my ragdoll so uh there's an idle animation a run animation a walk to the side animation and a right side animation so I'm gonna first put these animations into my animator and the way I can do that is select my target animation model and then select my animator window and on entry it goes into walk but I don't want to go I, I don't want it to go into walk anymore so when I'm what I'm gonna do is select the state I'm gonna rename it to idle and select the idle animation I also want to put the speed at 0.3 or 0.2 so now on entry so this is my uh, idle animation it just kind of uh, tilts to the left and right slowly okay so now I'm gonna make some transitions to our other animations so let me first create some states so just right click anywhere create state empty this can be my walk so let me just rename it to walk i also want a run and my run is basically just a walk but a bit faster so I'm just going to increase the speed by 1.5. I also want a, a side step, so side left. So I'll select my side left animation. And I want my side right animation. So the first thing I want to do is I want my animation to tra transition from idle to walk if a certain parameter is met. So you see um, layers and parameters on the left. Select parameters. Now click add, bool, and I'll call it is walk. So is walk is set to false so it shouldn't change to walk. But I haven't made the transition yet. so. To do that, um, right click your your uh, your first animation, which is idle. Make and click make transition and drag it over to the walk. It, you'll see it snaps and just left click on it. And now uh, you can select your transition. And in the settings, I'm just gonna set everything to zero. The reason I want this mm -hmm. is because mm -hmm. I don't want there to be an uh, a duration where it's transitioning I just wanted to instantly go to the walk animation and also you can see there's conditions right here so just add a condition so the condition is if is walk is true then um, ex execute this transition so it will go into the walk state obviously we need a transition back to the idle because we don't want to walk forever so again, I'm going to set everything to zero in the settings and if is walk is false, then it goes back to idle. Now I want to make it so that you have to be in walk to go to run. So I'll make a transition on walk and put it on run and let me make another parameter. And now I can just select is run is true then it will go to run set everything to zero and I'm just gonna repeat this process for all of my animations
okay so i am done connecting all my animations and let me just quickly show you so from the idle i have two um inward and outward transitions to the walk and i've set the conditions for that so is walk if it's true then execute this transition um if walk is false then execute the backwards transition all of the transitions um exit time is at zero so they will instantly switch and so the walk is connected to the run and the side left and side right are connected to the idle so yeah now if you click run now as you can see if you try doing w left and right your animations are still not playing and the reason this is is because you need a way to control your parameters as you can see none of these are ticked if you tick one of them then it starts walking if you tick the run while um walk is um ticked then it starts going much faster you, i also have my left animation and my side right animation and the way we're going to control these parameters is with our player controller script and that's why that's where we will uh set some parameters to true so that we can control our animations um before we go to our controller script um i think you may have noticed that my uh, right side right animation and side left animation aren't really working correctly and the reason this is is because i have to select my upper leg upper legs and select the mirror option so this will fix the issue and now you can see that it's working a bit correctly it's working correctly i mean and uh, it's already kind of dragging the ragdoll to the right okay so now let's control our animations which is the last part of this video to do this let's go to my player controller script and the first thing we're gonna need is a public reference to our animator on the target model after that let's go to my if get key w and what i'm gonna do is that in my shift i'm gonna do animator dot set bool is walk to true and remember since this is um a uh, left shift that means it i also want it to run and so let me do animator.setBool to true and remember in my actual uh, uh, animator you have to be in the walk state to enter the run state so that's why I put is walk to true and is run to true okay so let's keep going and in the else i wanted to i want to set it to false but only the run so this will make it stop running but it will keep walking if i let go of the left shift I also want an add. I, uh, I also want an add. I also want to add an else to the uh, top, top if. So if I am not holding an, an, any W key or shift key, then I want to set both walk and run to false.
if we compile this by saving it and click play you should be able to control your uh, walking and running okay and it seems like it is not working and oh so the reason why this isn't working is because I forgot to assign the animator to our player controller so just drag your target animation model or whatever you have the animator for your model so into the hips into the player controller script in the hips So now if I click W it starts walking um, S key isn't working yet but now you can do W shift and it goes faster and it seems like it's working so now all we have to do is set the right bulls for the rest of our keys so let me do that so for the A and D key I want the uh, left side and right side animations to run so I'll just do animator uh, set bool is side left to true and else I'll set it to not true which is false same for the D key except it's is side right and in here and I forgot to set this to false so now the S key is gonna be walk is walk to true else it's it's gonna be false okay so I know um I know this is set to false but I don't actually want to do that um instead I want to do else if input dot get key key code dot w the reason this is is because if I click uh, w but I'm not clicking S then the Anna then um, when this if starts to happen it will make the is walk to false and I want it to be true when I click W um, I hope that makes sense so let's just go back to my unity editor now if I zoom out and now if I select my game window and use my WASD keys you can see it's now uh, walking forward and backwards it can also run and I can go left and right and I think the animations way too fast and I think I mirrored these during I was playing the game so let me just select mirror and as you can see I can walk right I can walk left and it just it seems to be working now so yeah that's how you control your animations using uh, your WASD keys thanks for watching and bye